that 18 or 19 in all five games. Nice back door, and James gets his first field goal 31 seconds into the game. A little different than game five. As Pierce passed, stolen by Jamison. Williams the other way. Nice bounce pass. James bobble it and then lays it in. That was a great play by Antoine Jamison at the on the elbow. Nice pass. Paul Williams, count it, and a foul. Well, also gotten a couple layups. James got a layup early. Now Mo Williams on the back cut as he's tried to pass off double teams. West misses. James rips it down and puts it back up and in. Nine points, four rebounds, two of the basket, hit some threes and got some help from his MVP. No, it was Anson Fred. <laughs> James. Gets inside, left-handed, flips it up and in. Beautiful shot from James. Drew the contact and a chance for a three-point. So Ray Allen, or is it Tony Allen, picks up number two. It's a good job by LeBron James putting his head down and making a play. The pressure defense by the Celtics looking to attack. When that happens, the tough plays early on, you go underneath the screen, forcing him to be a jump shooter. He misses it in traffic, not allowing him to play one-on-one. -on -one. Getting into the seams again, takes the contact. That's a makeable shot and then active hands. Perkins not allowing him to get the wide open layup. Traveling violation. And this is my concern. LeBron James comes up with a turnover. We're used to seeing him full steam ahead. Instead, he slows it down, throws it to Mo Williams. This just in. Mo Williams has on LeBron James Nike shoes. LeBron James is not wearing the Mo Williams. And then how about here? Head down, throws it out of bounds to Anthony Parker. LeBron James, if you want your season to continue, take over this basketball game. Put your foot on the gas pedal and force the issue. Move. Back shot in and out. Perkins had it. Lost to James. Saves it. And Shaq throws it down. Big play from LeBron James to tie the game. Just good basketball. Isolation. Uses his strength. The ability to finish. Doesn't get it, but pursues the basketball. An outstanding vision. And Shaq does the rest. Field. West with the deflection. Here comes James. Gets fouled. Banks it in. The strength of LeBron James quiets the crowd. Saving play. The turnover by the Celtics. Go up to 11. And James attacking the rim with a very hard foul by Rasheed Wallace and great body control. So what you say, Jeff, Celtics a favor by getting rid of the basketball. I'd like to see LeBron James catch the ball and make a play, either for himself or somebody else, but he gives it to Delonte West and then he moonwalks to half court. That's not the LeBron James that we've become accustomed to watch. And again, he's turned it over quite a bit tonight with six turnovers. Down by eight, Mark. Well, just too passive. Comes up with the steal off of good defense and then throws it to Mo Williams. How about this? I don't mind this play. Turns the corner, help comes, gets rid of it. Jamison misses. This is just too tentative. This is not the LeBron James that we we watched in a flip pass in a half-court set. If I'm Mike Brown, no, don't get frustrated with everybody else. This is on you. Go out and play the way you're capable of playing. We need you to be spectacular, not just average. I hit the rim, so I didn't think it should have reset to four, uh, 24. James hits a three. A huge shot from LeBron James, and it's a seven-point game. Mark Rivers was not happy. James, another three. It's good. Back-to-back -back threes for LeBron James, and it's a four-point game. We've been waiting and debating for oh so long. Give him credit. LeBron James finally showing up. Team needed some life, steps in rhythm, two knockdown long ball jump shot. Six by nine, coming up on two minutes remaining. James throws it down. Seven point game. Pierce strides on Vergeau, inside, blocked from behind. All money, two points and ten rebounds. James lost it again. Unbelievable. His ninth turnover of the night.